How's it going out there, YouTubers? Cybernex Shark here with another new video just for you. So this is another 1001 Movies to See Before You Die. How Green Was My Valley? This is a 1941 film directed by John Ford, starring a very young Maureen O'Hara, a very young Roddy McDowell, and Walter Pidgeon. This film was nominated for 10 Academy Awards, outbeating Citizen Kane for its previous top nominations. Out of the 10, it actually won 5 of its Academy Awards, those being Best Director, Best Picture, Best Black and White Cinema Photography, Best Screenplay, and Best Supporting Actor. This film basically chronicles the life of this Welsh family during the 19th century in a coal mine over in the Welsh area of the world. And basically it just gives you like a rundown of how life was back in that time frame. The, book, the movie itself is actually based off the book of the same name, written by Richard Lewin, who wrote the book in 1939. So, I mean, that's pretty fast. I mean, it was written in 39 and was made into a movie by 41. So that's pretty fast adaption for a book to film that I've seen in recent years. Uh, because quite few books I've seen become movies. It's taken either anywhere from 5 to even 20 to 30 years before they make it into a movie. So I was really impressed uh, seeing that fact, how quickly they made it into a uh, film. But basically this film, I truly don't feel that it should have been on the list. I'm really surprised it won Best Picture in all those nominations. Uh, because in my viewing of the film, I really felt that it would just it took too long, it dragged. It really didn't have anything of significant value to me. Uh, or significant value, I feel, to the entertainment community. Uh, I do believe that back in that time, they were making the film to try to, you know, make something of historical or aesthetically correct cultural references for the time frame, which I completely understand what that was going with that. But for a film entertainer or somebody that's looking for entertainment or looking for a film to watch to enjoy, I don't feel that's what this film did. I feel that it was more of a documentary type film uh, that they tried to make into a movie that you would go see, such as like Gone with the Wind or uh, Wizard of Oz type of film, you know, something that was of entertainment value. Uh, I'm really surprised. This is probably one of John Ford's least favorite films that he did. I mean, because he is an amazing director and a lot of his films were really good. I was really sad that this film wasn't as good as I thought it was going to be because I heard so many good things about it. Um, I mean, the acting the film, yes, it was really well done. Everyone acted in great. I mean, for the time, I mean, 11-year-old Roddy McDowell, he was amazing as a little kid. Enjoyed his movies as he got older. Maureen O'Hara was amazing in it. Uh, I mean, everyone involved in the film did a really good job. I mean, and it was very historically accurate at how the times were back in that 19th century during that time frame that they're supposed to be working in the coal mines. Um, but the storyline itself, I mean, yes, tragedy after tragedy happens throughout the film, which is very accurate of how times were. But at the same time, it was so downplayed or it was shown so subtly that it wasn't really as accurate as they think, um, in my opinion. So I felt that that along didn't really make the movie entertaining. So unfortunately, I, I wouldn't recommend this film, unfortunately, simply for the fact that I feel that most people are going to watch it today, unless you're a huge film historian or somebody that really understands those film concepts, you're not really going to be entertained by it. So, I'm going to say, go ahead and check it out for yourself. See if I'm wrong. I, I could be. It's Like I said, it's my opinion. Get, check it out. See for yourself if you feel the same way. Um, in my opinion, like I said, I don't feel it should be on this list. Definitely something that I want to add to my collection. Uh, very, very disappointed in the film. I, I was really let down on this one. Um, but yeah, definitely... Any other John Ford film, check him out because he really is a good director. I mean, he directed the, the crap out of his film most definitely, but 
I don't feel it was best, and I don't feel he should have won Best Picture for this or Best Director. Um, but definitely, you know, see for yourself. Check it out for yourself. But I still, I'm not going to recommend it in general to people, uh, unfortunately, because I don't feel it should be a part of that. Uh, another cool fact, though, about it was that in 1999, the film archives did uh, put it in for preservation rights, and it has been preserved since 1998, actually, which I find that weird because if it was 1999, <laughs> shouldn't nine, it should have said 1998 that it was preserved. But anyways, but it was preserved, and it is in the preserved archives, and because of its historical and aesthetically culture correct um, showing of that time frame in the world. So that I think is a really cool fact too. So anyways, thanks for watching guys. As always, like, share, subscribe. Keep your eye out for any other new videos or older videos that you haven't seen yet. Check them on out. And as always, I appreciate you guys and have a great day. See you next time.